uh, welcome guys and uh, this is Shubham and uh, today you we are today I'm going to discuss about uh, one uh, of my minor project presentation <coughs> uh, that is about uh, geopolymer concrete as you can see here uh, it is an eco-friendly material or eco-friendly construction material we have uh, in my group there are three members first is uh, Tepika, Namrata and, and of course me uh, we have made this presentation as a uh, as a way so that we can express this uh, to a number of people uh, we have also made a file over that also so today in this video I'm going to explain that uh, what is your polymer concrete of my section first if you want to watch uh, the m if you want to watch the complete video then uh, I'll ask to my friends that uh, will they be giving you uh, the proper all all those slides because I, I, I can only give you about uh, three topics because uh, all these I'm going to explain so let us uh, start firstly uh, the topic name as you know it is geopolymer concrete now let me tell you something about the contents in contents uh, we have divided this in uh, three three uh, headings the introduction and what is concrete and what is geopolymer concrete will be done by me um, OPC versus GPC means to say ordinary Portland cement and geopolymer uh, concrete mm, geopolymer cement GPS no no sorry and uh, there is geopolymer concrete so GPC I'm extremely sorry for that let me change it right now and save it also okay so uh, ordinary Portland uh, cement versus uh, geopolymer concrete uh, geopo geopolymer cement uh, the difference will be made mm, it is presented by Namrata and uh, the component of uh, geopolymer concrete and uh, properties of geopolymer concrete also now disadvantages and advantages will be done uh, will be done by Tipika and importance of geopolymer concrete and also the conclusion of this uh, particular topic okay this will be done by Tipika so first three these three I am going to done these three will be done by Namrata and these three will be done by Tipika okay so let us start now uh, First of all, what uh, I would like to give you a brief information about uh, what is our aim of this presentation. Uh, actually, uh, we know that today uh, the world is suffering from environmental problems, and uh, those environmental problems are uh, very severe to us. This is uh, the first uh, uh, first stage of humans. Like we are suffering from these problems, and definitely the definitely. Uh, in our future are uh, coming decades in, in in the coming decades are our, uh, our children's are going to suffer from these problems also uh, we know especially in India we know like uh, mm, different foreign countries are investing it is a developing country and we know in any developing country you required construction you required an investment of different companies and construction of buildings and and you cannot even you cannot even achieve you cannot uh, think about you cannot imagine sorry you cannot imagine uh, the develop the, the development of any country without the uh, uh, growth of concrete industry without the without civil engineering without uh, concrete development so hence in India in recent uh, uh, decades the growth of concrete industry is uh, uh, done very you know it has taken very high um, very high uh, mark and now it has become very important to us to uh, think like whatever the materials we are producing really they are harmful for uh, really they are safe for our environment or not that's why uh, we have selected uh, we have uh, come up with this topic um, like geopolymer concrete and we have tried to solve this problem or try to uh, make everybody uh, everybody to understand like uh, whatever is happening in there it is uh, wrong and uh, uh, we have given a better solution of this problem in the future in future slides you will uh, going to explain now uh, before um, I'll talk about uh, geopo about anything else now uh, let us move on and uh, my first uh, e first uh, heading that is what is concrete uh, basically if you will any if you will normally ask from a person that what is concrete then it is a very simple and straight answer like it is a mixture of cement aggregate and water 
but uh, we need to understand that in concrete what is the importance of each one of these uh, each one of these uh, um, components cement or cement act as a binding material it binds water it binds the uh, coarse aggregate and um, fine aggregate water acts as a uh, as a uh, product to start the reaction in cement so that it can start uh, stiff it can start settling and aggregate uh, is definitely for uh, for taking the loads that there are actually two kinds of aggregate are here which are specially used so um, one is coarse aggregate and another one is fine aggregate uh, coarse and fine uh, because fine aggregate we provide like whatever the voids will be remaining between the coarse aggregate those will be filled and uh, those and uh, cement is here for binding all this material water is here for uh, uh, starting the reaction now let us move on next that what is actually geopolymer concrete so um, in my opinion uh, as I have studied this uh, then uh, there is not much difference if you will normally ask for a person but uh, if you will analyze like uh, how this is made what are its characteristics and what are its benefits then definitely uh, you are going to uh, see you are going to imagine like uh, you will see that uh, geopolymer concrete and normal concrete is very two different types of concrete first first thing is that it is a geo it is an eco-friendly material the material which are used to uh, material which are used to prepare ge geopolymer concrete are eco-friendly next one like uh, you can use uh, industrial byproducts like fly ash uh, which is a byproduct from thermal power plants you can use that to produce this uh, uh, concrete now <laughs> I'm seeing so many mistakes in my presentation and uh, within this video I'm just uh, uh, I'm just uh, just correcting them so that uh, next tomorrow I will not have to face we will not have to face problems uh, me and my friends and uh, okay let us uh, get us to our business now we were on it re it also reduced the co2 emission like uh, uh, in uh, in th in the production of normal concrete uh, the power plants uh, power plants uh, emit so much amount of uh, carbon dioxide but in the production of geopolymer concrete very less amount of uh, co2 is reduced that's why it is a very uh, good alternative and next one is it is greater or fire resistant um, means to say from normal concrete it uh, uh, it has a uh, uh, greater fire resistance compared to that. It is a simple picture of that. Now here my job ends. I will ask from my friends Deepika and Amrita that if they want to continue this video or not. If they want then definitely I will provide them some resources so that um, my channel viewers, um, I, I don't know they are or not. They can see that or not, also not. Thank you very much.